Hello guys, today we are explaining the perfection the film opens with a young girl named Charlotte, she has come to care for her mother because she is ill. Her mother's condition was quite poor, Charlotte was, in fact, a good and brilliant musician at a music school, she was a pro at playing the cello, she must, however, quit the school despite her wishes, she devotes a few years to caring for her mother. Her mother's condition deteriorates one day as a result of her illness, as a result, she dies, which is why she calls Anton, her music mentor, and owner of the music school, in Shanghai, Anton was holding auditions to find new talent, that's why he calls Charlotte to assist him in his search for talent, Charlotte decides to meet him after some time has passed, and seeing her makes Anton incredibly pleased, Charlotte meets Lizzie, another girl, she used to be one of Anton's special cellists, Charlotte had previously served as his favorite cellist, this girl Lizzie was the audition judge, these two become happy to see each other and admire each other's work, they become quite frank over a short period of time, they appear to have known one other for a long time, after the auditons, Lizzie, informs Charlotte, I knew you a long time ago, actually, you were going to meet your mother when I joined when I was a kid, since then, you've served as an inspiration to me, and Charlotte is delighted to learn about this, Lizzie impresses her and Lizzie later tells her that, I'd like to go to China for a few days, and Charlotte says yes, I'll accompany you, and in this way, they plan to travel to China, following Anton's directions, both begin playing a musical note, they spend a lot of time, with each other after that, after drinking, they go to sleep, the next day, Lizzie's condition falls, it means she can't wake up, and is suffering from a headache as a result of drinking too much the night before, Charlotte gives her medicine in this way, and she feels better as a result, and they're both off to China, however, Lizzie's condition deteriorates again on the way, she considers cancelling the trip there, but after Charlotte's insistence, she refuses to do so, and the two of them, continue on their way, they board a bus after eating a light meal from a shop, Lizzie takes two or three additional pain relievers after getting on the bus, because her condition was becoming increasingly unstable, her condition worsens along the journey, she feels weird and can't control herself, which is why she vomits on the bus, her condition causes the bus driver to get concerned, because, first and foremost, he was running late because of Lizzie, he also needs to clean his bus, she sits on a bus once more after a little period of relaxation, their way began anew, and Lizzie's condition deteriorated as they moved, unwillingly, she vomits on the bus again, and when she notices, insects are emerging from her mouth, she becomes concerned after witnessing this strange occurrence, the bus driver had had enough of them and pushed them off the bus, however, this was a deserted location in the middle of a jungle, she vomited again shortly after getting off the bus, several insects emerge from her mouth once more, Lizzie becomes really concerned, when she notices the strange incest creeping on her arm, she becomes agitated and begins to pull her arm away from her body with her nails, Charlotte hands her the chopper and asks if she understands what she needs to do, and, in order to get rid of the insects, she cuts her arm, we witness the flashback and we learn that Charlotte has willingly done this all drama, she was also giving her hallucinations drugs instead of painkillers, she used to administer this medicine to her mother as well, Lizzie was able to view all of the insects as a result of this, in reality, it wasn't like this, and Lizzie had to pursue her and risk losing her arm, why had Charlotte done this, one may wonder, we'll find out the answer later, later, after three weeks, Lizzie arrives at Anton's music school to meet him, she tells him everything that happened to her after meeting him, she also accuses Charlotte of being the cause of everything, that's how she's done everything with me, she begins to cry uncontrollably after saying this, Anton is perplexed as to why Charlotte would do such a thing, Lizzie couldn't play the cello because of her cut hand, that's why Anton considers her useless and urges her to go, please don't draw Lizzie away from him, she says, allow me to reside here and work as a teacher, Anton ignores her and drags her away from there, Lizzie feels sad after hearing this, she also feels ragged on Charlotte as a result of this, that is why she rushes to Charlotte's house and assaults her with a gun, it causes her to pass out, later, after tying her up and loading her into Dicky of car, she takes her to Anton, Anton asks Charlotte at his music school, what were you, thinking when you did this to Lizzie? As a result of the flashback, we learn that, Anton liked to annoy girls by teaching them how to play the piano, if they make a mistake, he punishes them by forming a bond with them, his two professors and wife used to accompany him, all of this was done with Charlotte as well, she used to be mentally abused to the point where she became insane, this was the reason she had to go to mental hospital for a while, Charlotte has been through it all and she understands how she will feel, that is why, in order to get out of Anton's trap, she chopped her hand, as a result, Lizzie is no longer useful to Anton, and he expels her from school, the same thing happens, and Anton feels exhausted from listening to it all, he tells Charlotte, I'll let you go, but there's a catch, if you can play a flawless music note for me, I'll let you go, if you make a mistake, you will receive a punishment, to a newcomer girl from Shanghai, who was a tiny girl, 
Charlotte becomes perplexed since she doesn't want to help Anton in any way, however, in order to save the girl, she must play Anton a musical note, when the music starts, Charlotte gives it her all, Anton becomes aware of a little blunder she has made, Charlotte is aware of this as well, and she is afraid on the inside, is that what Anton has planned for this girl? Anton doesn't do anything with the girl and sends her to sleep, he later informs his two professors and Lizzie that, they can do whatever they want with Charlotte, bring her into my room when she is quiet and relaxed, when Charlotte was approached by Anton's teachers, Lizzie thinks it's unfair that I get the first shot, Lizzie approaches her to punish her because she'd shattered my life, both teachers died when they fall, Lizzie had, in fact, poisoned their drink, we learn from the flashback, that Charlotte had told Lizzie everything, everything about Anton, his music school, and so forth, Charlotte's kidnapping leads to Lizzie's attack on her, and meet her with Anton, the soul was pre-planned, Anton's wife appears in the room and after a while, trembling, she falls before she can say anything, because both had already murdered Anton's wife, Anton's wife dies after a while, and Anton becomes ragged, when he sees knives in their hands, though, he becomes nervous, with knives, Charlotte, and Lizzie attack Anton, Lizzie is hurt, and Charlotte gets knocked out, she loses her senses after a while, now Anton is on his way to kill her, and Charlotte put her hand to save her, her hand gets pierced by the, knife, and she becomes severely injured, Lizzie somehow restores control and strikes Anton, she knocks him out after a severe attack, Charlotte and Lizzie later conduct a concert for Anton, there was only one person in the crowd, Anton, whose arms and legs were both cut, his eyes and mouth were also sewn shut, as a result, he becomes unable to see or communicate, his ears were open to allow him to listen, this is a disturbing scene in which they are playing a note for Anton, that was perfectly right, I'm going to tell you about some of the film's key points right now, we've seen Anton misbehaving with girls, and his two professors and wife have accompanied him in his wrongdoings, not in good deeds, Anton for teaching girls how to play music and turning them perfect, he used to torture them and, Charlotte and Lizzie have also been his victims, Charlotte manages to flee, but when she sees Lizzie, she intends to save Lizzie from Anton while also teaching him a lesson, as a result, both become succeeded, but they had to lose one hand in this. 